Hi, James Whiffen here for PluginEverything.com and today we're going to look at how to use TextBorder. So I've got some text here. Let's go ahead and add TextBorder to that. This is what it looks like at the default settings. So we can choose Shape Auto, which will automatically snap to the text. Or we could choose Square, which will always make sure that no matter how oblong the text is, the shape will always be drawn as a square or the border rather. Let's go back to auto for now and we can choose an expansion. It defaults to 10, but you can actually have zero expansion if you want to hug the text and also border width. So in addition to the uniform expansion, we can control individual expansion. So we could just control expansion on the width, just the height or even per side. So we might want to fit a logo in here. That's great for that. We also have roundness from zero to 100%. If we set square and it was round, it would end up being a circle. We have a solid fill. And we can also solo the border if we want to. To talk about the line cap, I'll just skip ahead down to the dash options, which we can enable here. And then if, say, our border was a lot thicker, we could see the result of the dash there. You can offset the dash as well as change the size of the gap and also the size of the dash itself. I'll just disable that. Now let's talk about the per side corner attributes. These are useful if you just want to draw the left and right sides or just the top and bottom. So for example, I'll stop drawing the top and bottom and I'll reset the individual expansion. And then we have something that looks like brackets and we can control the roundness of those. Or if we wanted it the other way around, we could just draw the top and bottom looks like a hamburger menu now and if we want we can selectively round sides so say I don't want the bottom right I want it to look like a chat menu we can do that we also have gradient options we just need to enable that there choose the start and end color we can also customize the start and end positions if you want or you can use the presets here for a horizontal or a vertical gradient the transform tab allows you to transform the border independently of the text. So for example, we could transition in the border, we could rotate it. So if you wanted to say create a diamond, I'll change the roundness to zero, change it to square and then rotate that 45 degrees. You can uniformly scale. And this does go up to 120, but the slider only goes up to 100. The reason for that being is that you could set it to zero, come forward and set it to 100. And then you might want to apply an ease and whiz elastic. And the elastic has a bit of overshoot, so that's why the scale allows it to go a bit above 100. But note that this is actually just scaling up the border. It's not drawing it at a high resolution. So you will get slight pixelation, but it's not really noticeable. And we're also compatible with motion blur. And if you like, you can control scaling on individual axes. The skew is pretty useful for emulating italicized texts. As you can see, the text box isn't really sloping to the angle of the text. So we could emulate that by changing the skew. Text border is compatible with the default animation control. So I'm just going to add a scale here and set the scale to zero. And then under the range selector, I'm gonna to go to advance, change it to ramp up with an ease low of 100. And then we could offset that from minus 100 to 100. And we can see that that's working. And say you didn't want any of that easing there, you could change it to square, change the smoothness to zero, ease low to zero, offset to zero, and then go from start zero to 100. And then that's just going to slap them on one at a time with no easing. And of course you could do that per word. Text border is compatible with 3D text. However, it won't inherit any 3D transformations. So for example, if I move this on X and Y, no worries. But if I move it in Z, you can see that the border itself is not updating and that's a technical limitation, unfortunately. Text border is also compatible with paragraph text as well as the vertical type tool, just in case you're wondering. So I hope you enjoy using text border. Make sure you check out plugineverything.com for other free plugins as well as some cool paid ones as well.